hey guys welcome to my page and welcome to my new followers okay so today i'm gonna do a makeup collection video you're gonna have to bear with me because there's a lot of products to go through so if i stutter or blah 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 because i've just planned it i'm gonna do it now so i'm let's gonna start i'm gonna start with most it's not all my makeup collection but these are the things that i use and there's no point me showing you everything that i don't use because some of the stuff i wouldn't recommend it because i bought it and i've tried and failed so these are the stuff that i go back to i use and i love so let's start with pencils um pencil bought which i use one's called primary yellow this is a really good one um i bought this because you know when jlo did that video with um I can't remember who it was with and she had yellow lips I bought it for that because I wanted to do a look on that but I never ended up using it but sometimes I use it on the eyelid or in the eye line it's a pro color only so you only can get it at the Mac Pro store <clears throat> well, this is a lip pencil this is Spice I love this pencil by itself it's really nice just to wear by itself but sometimes sometimes because i like wearing lip pencils by themselves because i like a matte lip so that's a really nice pencil and spice a really basic product <clears throat> another one i've got all the sort of chromographic pencils the one i showed you in the yellow one this is process magenta it's such a beautiful pink really nice just to put on before eyeshadow looks like that it's beautiful especially in the eyeliner it's amazing i would put some on for you now but i've got black on a cute similar liner it's cute right and um yes yeah, pro pro process magenta you can get these at pro stores only so obviously mac and carnaby street so forth so forth the next one is high depth cyan i've done a look using this before and i've done one on instagram it's just a beautiful blue um would you a bit there uh, can you see how it just pops? It sort of pops. It's a beautiful blue. It's amazing on deeper skin tones. I'll put it over the bed, sorry. It's amazing. Okay, it matches the color of my ring. It's beautiful. I love high depth cyan. I use this pencil all the time while in makeup looks. This is another chromographic pencil. This is Marine Ultra. I've done a make look using this. It's in, my, it's in one of my videos from about a few months ago. And I'm um, wearing Everyone was asking me what I was wearing. It's amazing on deeper skin tones. And it was skin tone too. It's just amazing blue eyeliner. Amazing. I love this eyeliner so much. Where's the lid? Oof, okay, I can't find the lid. And then I've got a fascinating. It's a white eyeliner. I wouldn't recommend this for deeper skin tones because it doesn't look good. It just looks a bit much, but um, I use it sometimes because if, I've, if I want a dramatic eye, but I don't really like it in my eye because I feel like it looks a bit really harsh against my skin. Um, Night Moth, I use this in the waterline. Night Moth, it's really good with a darker lip, like obviously like um, Rebel or something. And this is a concealer pencil. This is a bit better if you don't want to use a wet eyeliner, but it's still a bit much in the waterline. Okay, that's broke, but... It looks like that. It's a concealer pencil. Next, I'm gonna move on to foundations because that's a huge category. Uh, I have Studio Fix NW45. I don't use it anymore, but I mix it with, I mix it with face and body because it's gonna give me a more satin finish because this by itself really dries out my skin. But it's amazing because it's a medium to full coverage foundation and if you've got really oily skin and if you're just like if you're oily in your t-zone or you've got really oily cheeks or juices because it's amazing it gives really good coverage and it's one of mac's best selling foundations and um if you really like a mac finish this foundation is amazing <clears throat> I've got Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, I've worn this before by itself. It's really matte, it looks like skin, and it's amazing on camera and on video. But as well, I mix this with my Illa Mascara. I wear this every day, because <coughs> the color is amazing and the texture is really, really liquidy and it's just really, really nice. Um, this foundation is amazing by itself too, so this is also one of my go-tos every day. The next I have is Face and Body N9. It's too dark for me. Face and body colours were a bit tricky for deeper skin tones. 
I think, yeah, for Deep Skin Tones, if you put Olive to Dark Skin, they're a bit tricky because after N7, it goes straight to N9, which is a huge jump. But this is amazing in the summer. Try and mix it with C7. You have to really know how to mix it properly and you'll get a perfect colour if you're NW45 to 50. But amazing, a bit red, but nice. Um, my go-to foundation, I love Elamasca. This foundation is amazing, the Rich Liquid Foundation. If you like a full coverage, with it being really satiny, really like plastic skin, this is amazing. I love, love Rich Liquid. I couldn't live without this foundation, and I'm always getting more. This is 320. No, 323, and this is 325. I mix them at the moment. Watch, well, I mix it today because this one is a bit dark for me, so I usually mix it with Make Up Forever. But um, I really, really like these. They're really, really nice. Um, really, if you want that beat skin, Elamasca is the way to go. Um, Studio Tech, Cream to Powder, amazing if you've got combination skin. If you like that really full coverage foundation, what's well, medium to full. If you like that really beat skin, if you like it to go as a cream, really smooth and set as a powder, this is the way to go. I use this in winter or sometimes summer, but it does feel a bit heavy on the skin, so be careful to use a little bit, but I mix it with moisturizer to make give it weigh a bit, so it's really, really nice. I use this in NC50 because the color's a bit weird in this, but yeah, NC50 look ni looks nice on me. Um, Studio Fix Foundation NW45. It looks light, but it, it oxidizes, so when you sweat, <coughs> it gets darker. So try and get like a shade lighter because they do oxidize. The best thing to do is before you try this on yourself, spray, spray Fix Plus all over your face, then apply it, and the true color will appear. Because if you go to a club and you're dancing and you're sweating, if you get like NW47 and you're NW, if you are NW47, you got like NW47. When you sweat, it's gonna get darker, so you're gonna you're gonna look like an NW50 when you leave the club, and that's not cute. If you're not that shade, that's not cute. Mm -hmm. So and studio effects. I don't. I never wear this by itself. The only time I've been using this is to set my T zone. It does add a bit more, but because it's so extra matte, I like it because it keeps my T zone extra matte, and I want a bit of more coverage there sometimes. So it's amazing for that. But otherwise, I wouldn't use this, use this by itself because it's very matte. If you like that matte, no shine look at all, use this because it's got towel. It's really, I find I sell it a lot to like <clears throat> people that live in hot countries like Nigeria, Ghana, India. Because it's such a hot country and it's so easy, it's a two-in-one. It's foundation and powder in one, so it is an amazing product, but it's not for me. I just use it to set makeup with, but it's amazing. Um, powder, obviously, block powder. Almost finished it. It's really good to use in the T-zone. I wouldn't use it all over because it's very grey, so it can look ashy sometimes, but amazing to set foundation in the T-zone. Let me take a breather. Okay, let's get back to it. Um, NARS Tinted Moisturiser, I love this, I haven't used it for a long time. I saved a customer today who was wearing this and it looked amazing on her, so I might go back to using this. I've done a review on this, but it is a nice tinted moisturiser. This is in the colour Polynesia Dark One. Um, I think this was a tiny bit red for me, but it's amazing. It's a really nice coverage, really smooth, really radiant finish, and it also has soft focus finishes to give your skin a more youthful appearance. So. This is in my collection. I always go back to this summer, so I'll definitely be using this again. And last but not least, this is Mineralized Satin Finish. You can't buy this anymore. They've got Mineralized Moisture now, which is a tiny bit different. Um, this is really glowy, so if you like really, really glowy skin and a satin finish, this is a great product, but you can not, no longer get this, so try eBay, because I know some more are still circulating around Mac stores that haven't sold out of them completely, but a lot of Mac stores won't have this, so this is such a nice foundation, especially in the summer, it gives you such a nice glow. No, it's nice in the winter, actually, because in the summer it will slide up your skin, but this is such a good product. And the last foundation I use is MAC Full Coverage. It's a cream, you can only get this in pro stores. And um, the thing about this is, if you're in a rush, I wouldn't use it because you need to blend the shit out of this. Make sure you use like a damp sponge or a beauty blender and just blend it because it's really hard. It's like studio finish, but it's different. It's a completely different texture and it's just not as easy to blend. It's just, you can get beautiful looking skin with this. You can 
water it down with moisturizer because it can look amazing i'll do a video of this one day showing you how to use it because it's just amazing on um, if you avoid once and people are like well your skin looks like glass literally it's just fantastic and um, the next thing i'm going to move on to is <coughs> concealers this is studio finish in nc45 I no longer use this under my eye because it's too heavy. It creases like a bitch on me. If you've got a smooth under eye, really, really smooth, you don't crease, use this. But it's really heavy for under eye. It's amazing for highlighting in the brows and like, giving that sort of lighter under eye. But make sure you warm up in your fingers first. Um, the next is the Kevin O'Quan concealer. I've done a video on this before. SX15. A bit too dark for me. I'll be at SX14. <coughs> but yeah. This is such a beautiful product. If you want that beautiful beet skin, get the Kevin O'Quan. It's the only right way. Pull on my concealer, NW40. I use it to highlight under the eye. I don't really like this under the eye because it's too, too matte. But to highlight the skin, it's beautiful. And to use for a tinted moisture. So if you mix this with face and body, this would be an amazing product to use. But other than that, um, I don't really like it. Some people use it as a foundation, but I just find it too matte to be honest I haven't used this in a while but it's amazing in the summer because if you don't want your makeup to like slide away so I'll probably use this again especially to highlight NW40 is amazing especially if you like NW45 to NW50 so I love this um pro girl concealer this is in fawn so I use this to highlight I have got all the colors so I have done a video on this so if you want to go to my other video I'll put the link in the description bar and these concealers are fantastic coverage wise really really good and pigmentation i mean pigment amazing so um yeah i love these i use all of them minimalized concealer this is amazing to highlight with it really opens up well it really lifts the area for highlighting and the only thing it will find that with me is separate so make sure your eyes are really primed and you've got like an eye cream under it because it can separate but amazing for mature skins and mature ladies because it really really moisturizes the under eye and really helps conceal any darkness um select cover up <coughs> amazing for concealing dark circles amazing just to use by itself on the skin I don't use this personally on my skin, I use it to highlight the brows or under the eye but um, this product is just really really good especially for like guys who, if you want something natural make sure you get your correct shade and mix a bit of moisturiser with it and you'll have like a really like subtle concealer it's really really nice, I remember, it, I remember it being in GQ ages ago for amazing concealer so that's really nice Touche Clark, I don't use this anymore amazing for highlighting though under the eye but it's a bit too powdery for me nice for some nice and some people not me but nice <coughs> i do use it sometimes just under a concealer for one that extra highlight in pictures because it does have a lot of flash but so be careful i wouldn't use this at a wedding everyone knows i use this i don't have to mention amazing for brows concealer contour highlight as well color corrector color corrector I would buy loads of these I've got them in every color amazing I keep saying amazing but it is amazing and it's worth the money as well so um pep and prime pens bright forecast peach lustra um trader on instagram uses bright forecast I sometimes use bright forecast but it's very bright I'll put some on for you now to highlight so it show you what it looks like can you see it is it's bright under my eye to be honest um I would use this under foundation because one time I went into work and I looked crazy. Like my under eye was so bright. My friend was like, Gary, it looks like like car lights are shining on your eye because it was that reflective. But 
don't be fooled you can use bright forecast just make sure you blend that in and mix a bit of your own concealer with it it can work for us peach lustre i don't like it it's too dark it doesn't act as a highlighter it's it's okay i guess if you're a bit deeper but on me it just looks like my, my under eyes are orange it looks like i'm a bit ill to be honest but bright forecast you can see there you can see that glow bright forecast is amazing i need to stop saying that but i'm gonna say it because it's my word okay um okay i'm done with concealers now oh i've got, I've got the bobby brown correcting dark bisque it's really really nice for taking away um <coughs> for correcting first but it creases because it's a, such a heavy cream but hey ho i better move on because this video is getting a bit too long next i'm gonna do bronzers and highlighters the next bronzer is bobby brown dark three which looks like that amazing for deeper skin tones it's totally beautiful and i'm gonna use dark four which is a bit more deeper these are really red by the way but they're really really nice on the skin so make sure you go to bobby brown and try them out mm. this is a highlighter this is double definition i love this it gives me such whoops such a nice glow let me put some on for you quickly i'll just use that gold bit there and it gives my skin such a nice sheen see you see that glow it gives my cheek it's such a nice pretty glow it's really really nice that double definition <coughs> it's not permanent but mac are bringing out some new colors of these what well, i think permanent colors of the mineralized range but look out and see but it's on blog so it's nothing new and yeah it's double definition look on ebay because i've seen some on ebay but it's that's such a nice highlight of a deep skin tones glorify oh love this color look at that it's in pieces this was the best highlight ever i love it it looks amazing on deeper skin tones it's like a bright it's like gold deposit but less bitty i've done a video on this before people were asking me where to get one from i'm not sure if you can get this anymore it's limited just look on ebay as i always say um some power this is amazing you know how max the middle skin finishes deep dark dark medium dark if you're like an nw55 and darker and deep dark looks ashy on you this is amazing to give you the same effect because it's really warm it's not going to look ashy so just use a bit of sun power i know it's like a bronzing powder um but it's going to do the same thing give you that glow but just be warmer so use this sun power is amazing um Also, obviously, you know I love Becca. This is in... This is the Becca Shimmering Sun... Shimmering Skin Press Perfecta in Topaz. And I've used it before. It's amazing. I've sort of not used it for a while because the highlight's just very intense. And I don't really like that in the moment. What else? And obviously, I can't forget my girl Riri. Shine bright like a diamond. This is Rihanna Diamonds. I love this, it's amazing for the summer, it's just amazing for giving that really nice highlight. I should make this permanent because it's such a beautiful highlighter. So it adds a really nice glow into the cheek. Such a beautiful, beautiful cream colour base. You can get more, you can get in proper copper, bronze, you can get, oh, let's so dry. You can get loads, so yeah, it's in proper copper. Um, what else can I go on? primers <clears throat> natural radiance i use this every day i love it love it love it it's fantastic it's really good if your combination it hydrates and controls all at the same time looks like that it's a yellow one don't get the pink one because the pink one's for lighter people but yeah yeah you lighter skin tones can get the pink one and this clinique super primer it's color corrects dullness and deeper skin tones it's really matte but i have tried this for a few days and it is really nice but very matte so i only put it on my t-zone and this is obviously spf face protection 50. if you're gonna go on holiday use this it keeps your makeup on forever it's such a good product i love it and that is the face protect spf 50 primer 
I love this primer, love it. I use it every day on my T-zone because I get so oily there and it makes my makeup stay on. <clears throat> And that's about it guys, um, my video's going on for a bit long now and plus I need to edit this so I'm gonna do um, one just not eyebrow products but I'm probably gonna do a separate video on that. But thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed my makeup collection and I wish I could fit more in but YouTube won't allow me to upload any more video or video time because not yet anyway and I'm gonna do a giveaway soon so I hope you guys are watching, bye!